Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. It's October 12th, 2022. I'm here at the property. It's Wednesday right now, Wednesday night. I just got in about 20 minutes ago. I've unpacked, cleaned up a little bit. I'm excited to get out and hunt. The weather has been actually pretty good, been pretty cool, although today was a little warm. We have a cold front coming in this weekend. Haven't seen a ton of activity on my cameras, mostly some does, uh, a couple spikes, no mature bucks or anything yet, but really I'm probably just targeting a, a doe this, this round. Um, I have been seeing some pretty big hogs out here, so if a hog shows up, I have no problem taking out a hog either. But you know, I, I'm just really excited to be out here. I wish I could have been here opening opening weekend, but didn't work out. The last couple of years in general have been kind of kind of tough. Haven't had a lot of time to to hunt and really enjoy the property and and do some scouting the way I really wanted to. I actually haven't really shot my bow a ton. I tried to pick it up this week and shoot every single day, um, but I had COVID last week, so I really been fatigued and struggling a little bit but i've shot the last three days and i feel like i'm ready to go so i'm excited for this so for my setup this year still using the same diamond infinite edge pro bow for my arrows uh, i've mentioned it a few times i'm doing something a little bit different i've got the uh, tough head three blade here on the front i've got the serious archery insert system there and i'm running these uh 350 apollos Let's see if you can see the label here. Uh, Sirius Apollo 350. So uh, kind of a new setup this year, but I'm excited to test it out. They seem to be flying really well. Really heard a lot of good things about the tough heads as well. So I'm excited to uh, test it out on a, a pig or a deer and hopefully uh, get something on the ground. So another thing I'm doing new this year is I'm uh, testing out this boot bandolet. I've got a review video online, but this is the the first time I'm bringing it out in the field, so I'm excited for that. It's much lighter than my backpack, especially for these cooler hunts. I don't really need a full backpack. So I've got my thermocell in there. I've got my rangefinder here. Uh, this is a remote for my camera, some Windicator, and then just in here I've got my release, some batteries, SD cards, things like that. So pretty convenient all in a pack here. Uh, I don't really have to take much except for this and my bow and I should be ready to go. All right, guys, it's the morning of the 13th. I've got a wind coming out of the north right now, so I've got quite a few stands I can hunt with that type of wind, but I have a work meeting about 9.30ish, so I'm gonna have to uh, pick one of the closer stands. And unfortunately, my Tacticam has been out of batteries, so really don't know what's been going on there. So kind of going a little bit blind, but usually get some good doe activity there. So that's what I'm expecting, maybe a hog, but uh, about to head out there and I will turn you all on when I get to the stand. All right, so quick update. Feeder didn't go off. I replaced some batteries on my camera. My other camera wasn't working, so I have no idea if anything's been showing up there. So I waited till about eight o'clock and went down. The battery was dead on the feeder, so I replaced that, replaced the batteries on my cameras. And then all of a sudden I was getting hits at another feeder that uh, had a big hog that I'm, I'm going after. So I just got back to the barn. I put my bow up, I'm gonna grab my gun and I'm gonna walk out there. It's about three quarters of a mile. So I'm gonna try and boogie out there before he takes off. But this is a hog I've been after for a little bit. I think he is uh, keeping the deer away from that feeder. I usually see a lot of doe at the feeder and I've seen no deer this year so far. So I'm gonna go try and take him out and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I took my 308 and snuck out here and I just took his ass out. He's a big, big hog. So we'll go take a look at him. I'm like freaking shaking right now. So he was hanging out at this feeder here. I got him right outside the grass where I can see him. Kind of hard to see in the light, but put a shot right there on his head. Dropped him immediately. He's a big, big hog. So I don't know if y'all have remembered my previous videos, but this is Duck Pond. You can tell how much of a drought we've had. I mean, the water used to be up here, and now it's uh, 
pretty much non-existent. Pretty crazy, we need some rain pretty bad. All right guys, I just got set up. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I've got my uh, boot bandolet. You can see you can use it in multiple different ways. Right now I've got it just strapped over so I don't make the thermosel go in. I got my remote for my other cameras. Some windicator. I've got my uh, rangefinder in here as well. So I'm all set up. I got my bow hanging over here. So hopefully we get a, a nice buck or a, a big doe to come in today. It's Friday morning. It's getting colder out there. It's 51 degrees now. Uh, not really used to this type of weather, but uh, I'm bundled up. The wind's kind of doing some weird stuff. Both my apps are saying it's going one direction. And then Onyx is telling me it's going the opposite. When I go outside, there doesn't seem to be much wind at all. So I'm going to go set up in the position where I'm going to follow the weather apps, I think. And uh, if I get out there and that's doesn't seem to be working, I'll go to a different spot and somewhere my wind is good. I'm going to go ahead and get packed up and we'll head out there. All right, so it's Friday afternoon. Didn't see much this morning. Saw uh, some deer at the feeder that I was at last night. And when I was there last night, I actually saw deer at both these other feeders. So just haven't been at the right place at the right time. The wind did flip, so I'm gonna hunt a stand I haven't hunted this weekend. Uh, it's one that I've hunted quite a bit over the last couple of years. And it's one that I uh, shot that deer at last year and the one where I just shot the hog at earlier this week. So I'm gonna try that spot out and uh, let's hope uh, a deer shows up. Well, unfortunately, uh, it poured on us pretty much all morning. Uh, we lost power, so ended up just doing some tasks around the barn, getting it ready for uh, when I come out here in November. So, you know, unfortunate, didn't really see but one deer. Um, never really even had a chance of shooting that deer either. Uh, but at least I did get a hog taken out. Um, but I'll be back out here and It'll be pretty much prime rut when I'm out here again, so uh, excited for that. Thanks for watching, guys.